Hi, everybody. It's Ryan from Pi Records. I'm here with the Hurricanes from the UK. How is everybody doing, guys? Ryan. Doing good. Doing really I, good. I love the Rockabilly hair seven inch that you guys got. Um, it's the it's the first time that I got to hear you guys. The artwork is fantastic, and the music is uh, incredible. Uh, my wife, who does the videos, Jenny, she she was dancing to it, and uh, we we're really into it. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Quite. <laughs> uh, you want to hear about how we wrote the song, or? Done the graphics, or? Um, well, the music. Yeah, well, the music. Uh, the music originally started with just coming up, for, uh, you know, trying to think of something different to write about, uh, and I came up with the idea of rockabilly hair. It was just something that I felt wasn't hasn't been talked about, you know, or sang about, should I? Uh, so I started putting pen to paper, and. Uh, I just went from there. Uh, came up with a good riff for the song, and uh, the guys quite liked it. And uh, we just kind of went from there, you know. Great, great. So, uh, starting with you, Clyde, I want you to introduce yourself and what you play, and then uh, David, and then Dell. Okay. Uh, my name's Clyde. Hi, my name's Clyde. I'm the guitar player with the uh, Hurricanes. Yeah, guitar player and singer. I'm David. I'm the double bass player for the Hurricanes. Um, uh, I'm, I'm Dell. I play the drums. Uh, do numerous other stuff. So, um, David, I saw that you had some copies of something. Uh, do you want to show those off and tell me a little bit about them? Oh, the records I had in my hand? Yeah. All right, that's just something I, I got through the door for me. It's just Brian says it's rockable, right? <laughs> oh, that's great. Yeah, so. So would you guys, quite vinyl. would you say Slim Jim is a, is a big influence on you? Brian says so, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Straight up. That's, yeah. Did you like the Nashvilleians? Yeah, they were good as well. Yeah, we've seen them. They were really good. Yeah, seen them in Glasgow. They were uh, fantastic. Yeah. I think that one came in kind of under the radar. I wasn't expecting that one. Yeah, it's a, a different a different slant of sets. I thought, yeah, it's, it was really good, though. I enjoyed it. I think he likes to change his music. Yeah. Very varieties. Do you, do you guys know about his tinnitus? Has, has has he recovered from that? I think so. I think he's. I think someone has posted something on the Brian Setzer page. He was playing his guitar again and singing a song. So. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't know much about that. Um, Clyde, uh, you want to tell me about any other releases that you had in the past? Something that you have coming up? Something that we have coming up, we've got another release coming out with Missing Think Records, uh, another single coming out, uh, and I believe it is Liquor, Beer and Wine, is that right, Dale? It is Liquor, Beer and Wine, it's a three-tracker this time. Uh, okay, three songs on it, uh, Liquor, Beer and Wine, what was the other two we had on it there, Derek? Back called Voodoo. Uh, uh, Cover by a band called Restless from the UK called Rockabilly Rap. That's great. Yeah. I think it's going to come out as October time. Is it, I think it's October, November time. We're talking about that for Oh, okay. Hmm. So, October, October release. October yeah. release. So that'll also be vinyl? Yeah, yeah it's seven inch vinyl, yeah. It, it, that, that's through Johnny at Missing Fink. Yeah, that's for Johnny, yeah. Yeah, Missing Fink Records. So, uh, how did you guys get involved with Johnny? Uh, obviously, uh, you wanted to get through to the United States audience. 
Um, how did you guys hook up being from the UK? I'll break them. <laughs> <laughs> I'll break them. No, yeah. No, I just, I, I got in touch with Johnny. Um, yeah, for that kind of reason, is just to sound a bit, because I loved a lot of the bands on Missing Think, and uh, just came across as a really credible label and like a, a good guy, you know, to deal with. So I just asked for some advice, and he, he loved Rockabilly Hair, and he's like, do you mind if we release that, you know? And I was like, of course. Fantastic. You know? It's great. Um, as far as drums, Dell, who, oh, I see that, David. I have a couple copies here. Green, right now. Yeah, the green one's really nice. And red. They're awesome. They're beautiful. You really, uh, I think the packaging alone is enough to get people interested. But once they hear it, um, I think it gives it a, a new twist on rockabilly. Um, uh, Cause I know there's a big rockabilly scene in U the UK, right? Yeah. yeah. It's big in the UK. It's quite small in Scotland though, but it's, it's getting bigger slowly. How, uh, how do you guys get together to play? Are you, are you close by or uh, are you kind of spread out a little bit? Yeah, they're all kind of uh, within, within drive. Four or five minutes to an hour between each other, right. roughly. Oh, okay. Me and you guys. That's good. Um, so tell us a little bit about the new, the new record coming up and uh, what kind of sound. Is it going to be similar or is it going to be like the next step from Rockabilly Hair? It's got a different feel, um, it's got a really different vibe, uh, I don't know how to explain it, we're just writing, we just write what, what we, you know, we're not sticking to any specifics, whereas it has to have a 50s tone or it has to have this, you know, we, I, I listen to all different kinds of music, so there's a, there's, there's an influence in the pop on you know. There's a bit of everybody's influence, like there's a lot of Dale's influence, there's a lot of mine, there's a lot of Clyde, so we kind of mix the sounds we like and come up with something kind of different. Yeah. So this yeah, is... Yeah, different than, you know, just be the same as you know, the other band. Yeah. You guys are a three-piece, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So when did you guys get started and uh, when did you start writing music? Uh, I would say we get started. Uh, me and David have played in bands before, uh, and then uh, a drummer, uh, Dale, came in and uh, we decided to take it a wee bit more seriously. So really we've only been just writing our own songs over the last couple of years. And uh, how, is the, how is the crowd reception? Uh, people really going off to your music? People seem to really like it. Yeah, getting a, getting a lot of good feedback from it. You know, people are just uh, wanting to know what's coming out next. So, uh, how, how uh, I have to ask, how is the, uh, the COVID virus being handled over there? How are you guys doing? You all being safe? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah it's been pretty think? good. I mean, we're, we're lucky in Scotland. Their, their first minister's kind of... <laughs> She's kind of shutting down when it needs to be, you know, the rest of Britain's to just be getting left, you know, to kind of run around like some zombie apocalypse type stuff, you know. <laughs> we're still, we're still pretty much in lockdown. We're not, we're not fully open. We haven't been for, since March or whatever, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we were just getting back to work. Uh, I work at a sports TV station. And now, you know, coming up, sports is going to go away and... I'm going to be back st stuck at home. So how has it been for you guys being stuck at home? Have you been doing more writing, um, recording, uh, trading demos? Yeah, we've been, yeah. Doing, 
I've I've been working right through. I've, I've not had. I haven't been off at all. Um, I've, I've, I've I've been busy doing loads of artwork for Johnny and so doing band stuff, sort of getting the recordings together, and we've all busy doing band stuff, you know. Never stops. He does. He does, he does a lot of artwork for us, and think he does quite a few other bands as well. You're Dell Little John, correct? So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the man it, does, I, I, I now it's it's, it's good to put the, it's good to put the face with the name because uh, I'm a big fan of your artwork. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, to yeah. So, um, what is what yeah, is? It's good. I enjoy. It. I'm, <laughs> that was our artwork. Where where can you where can you find the the Hurricanes seven inch? Other than Pi Records, we have it here. But where, if somebody wants to get in contact with you and purchase some merch, you have a really good like uh, bomb logo with the with the fangs, like the tiger bomb. Um, where can we where can we get uh, some more info on you guys? Yeah, that's it. You you got uh, shirt shirts yeah, and stuff. Facebook Facebook page. Um, w dot Facebook.com, the Hurricanes Rockaboy. Also, a Bandcamp page as well. A Bandcamp, the Hurricanes, and they've got t shirt packs and singles, stickers, badges, other wee bits of merch. Do you have any idea when you possibly could get over to the United States? I know October, November, they're looking at doing small shows. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. We, we need an invite first, I guess, but uh, we would love to do it, you know, if they come over. Be good, be great. Yeah, definitely. We would love to come over. Uh, it just depends on the situation with COVID, whether we can, people are um, having stuff outside or inside. Have you, have you had a lot of requests to come over here? Yeah, we've had some people, uh, when COVID's over, can you come over and, you know, do some gigs and stuff, yeah, uh, France and Germany as well. I think Japan as well, I think Japan wanted this kind of... Oh, that's great. They're kind of going crazy, they're kind of going crazy for the sound as well, they've really enjoyed the different kind of yeah, style of rock. The merch to Japan and, and Europe and stuff is nice, so... Great. Has you have you uh um let me think of one last question. All right. Do you do you have anything that you want any message you want to get out there about your music or about anything else before we sign off? Just want everyone to stay safe and you know, like can I get through this thing or this COVID and get back to live music? Stuff like that, you know, it's yeah. people stay safe and, you know. You say thanks to the people that have already supported the band for the small beginnings. Yeah. Yeah, uh, people that have bought merch already, and uh, thanks for, you know, putting an interest in the band and glad you like the music. And a thanks to Johnny for putting us out in single and putting us on his label. It's a, yeah. it's a terrific single, guys, and uh, I can't wait to hear the next one. Also, a really big shout out to Johnny Hatton, who is the slap bass player for one of Brian Setzer's Rockabilly Riot Tours, as well, for featuring on the single. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. it's actually Johnny Hatton and slap bass. That's great. Well, I want to thank you so much, guys, for all getting together. Uh, I know it's hard to coordinate, but you guys made it really easy for me. Um, and I, I appreciate talking to you and uh, look look more forward to seeing uh, some more Hurricanes singles and some more Dell's artwork. And, um, you know, we'll, we'll promote anything you got. Uh, well, thanks very much. It's much appreciated. Uh, thanks very much for having us on. Okay, yeah. guys, thank you. I've been looking forward to a week, man.
<laughs> yeah, me too, really. 